everybody welcome back to my channel today I am doing another cooking video for you or a lot of you have been asking me to continue to do cooking videos on this channel so here it is here is a simple easy cooking video for you all Frederick is literally playing with everything possible in the kitchen right now so if you can hear noises it's just because Frederick is playing at the moment in the kitchen today's cooking video is my slow cooking beef casserole now I do this in a slow cooker or a crock pot whatever you want to call it and I cook it and it's amazing. I love this for something that I can put in the freezer later on for leftovers and I also love this for meal prepping. This is also a easy dish just to put all in a big pot Put it in the oven or on your slow cooker and just let it cook for a couple of hours and you don't have to worry about anything else. It is so good. But anyway, we're going to get straight into this video so I hope you all enjoy and I'll see you guys at the end. So today we are making my beef casserole and we're going to get started with what we need for the ingredients. So first we need some beef, some beef stock, some broccoli, cauliflower, also some carrots some sweet potato and some pumpkin and then we just need some peas and corn some seasoning so salt and pepper and I've also got thyme and Italian herbs so first of all I'm just going to start off with cutting up all my vegetables so I like to put as many vegetables as I possibly can in my casseroles just because I know more vegetables means it's better for me I did cut up extra vegetables here, so I am freezing them. So not all of these vegetables that I'm cutting up is going all in to a uh, dish night, but all the vegetables that I'm using are going in there. So carrots are next and I like to just cut my carrots up in the little like circles. I don't really like doing them long or little squares but the circles work the best I personally think in casseroles so that is why I'm cutting them up into little circles. Also guys if there's anything else that you want me to film me cooking please let me know down below because I'm actually really um, happy to film any of these cooking videos. I'm actually really 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 enjoying them So if there's anything that you guys want to see from me Just let me know down in the comments or send me a message on any of our social media and I'm happy to film um, These cooking videos that you guys want me to film Once all these vegetables are all cut up, I'm just going to place them all into the big pot that I have. This is a slow cooking pot. It does come with a slow cooker, you know, machine, but I actually don't use it just because it takes so, so, so long. I actually just use my oven to cook all my casseroles and my slow cooking meals just because it is so much easier to do. And then, of course, we're going to get onto the meat. So I'm just going to brown off my meat a little bit. That's all I do is I just like to brown it off. So one, it doesn't take as long to cook through, but also it just gives um, the dish a little bit of an extra touch because I do have all the juices from cooking the meat. Next is to make my stock. And I actually don't get the stock in the little um, tubs or the containers just because they're actually not gluten free. So I actually have to make my own stock. So that is what I'm doing at the moment. And then I'm also just putting all my vegetables in it, all the other ones that I've missed and all my seasonings. And then I'm just going to fill it up the rest with water and we're just going to put it in the oven. I put it in the oven between 180 to 200 depending on how long I'm cooking it. And I just cook it for about two hours. So yeah, we're just going to put it in the oven and let it sit for about two hours. Sometimes I do cook it a little bit more, but sometimes um, I cook it just the two hours because that's all it needs. Sorry guys, I'm currently watching Frederick paint my entire lounge room at the moment and I'm trying to do this and 
The willpower of not trying to stop him right now while I'm filming this is hard. But anyway, so after the two hours, I just get it out of the oven and I'm just going to place it on the bench and let it sit until I want to eat it. And this is my slow cooking casserole dish. for my slow cooking beef casserole I hope you all enjoyed and I hope maybe some of you recreate this if you do please let me know down below or if you will be recreating this I would love to know so if you do recreate anything that I make I would love for you guys to send me pictures over to our Instagram or our Facebook page and I'm going to get going and I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you guys all next time bye